I'm Pamela and Elizabeth has invited me here today to talk about some crystals for grounding and to keep calm during the planning of your wedding. So um, I don't know if she can join me, but we're trying to do this together. Oh, okay, here we go. I'm going to invite Elizabeth to... Um, join me on this call, I mean this live if she can, but if not, I'm just gonna go on. So I am a clairvoyant and crystal intuitive, and I love to teach our clients all about crystal magic. And I am so obsessed with crystals that me and my best friend opened up a crystal boutique shop on Instagram called Luna Prosperity a couple years ago. And what we do is we just go around the world to curate crystals for our clients. And we teach them how to connect with the healing energies of the crystal. So I'm so excited to be here with you guys and I want to thank Elizabeth for inviting me to join this awesome, awesome group and um, you guys just have amazing energy in here. All right, let me see. Nope, I can't put her on. Okay, so um, the first thing I would like to do with you guys is to go into a grounding meditation. So you can really do this really simple meditation anywhere and anytime when you're feeling a little bit frazzled. So if you just want to sit back and close your eyes and just you can be sitting down or lying down, whatever feels comfortable for you. And just close your eyes and take a deep breath in and hold it and now release it slowly. Now if you can take another deep breath in and release it slowly. I want you to imagine your feet on the ground and I want you to imagine the energy of the earth traveling up to your feet. This warm green healing energy up your legs, up your thighs, up your hips, all the way up your stomach to your heart chakra. And let's just have it sit in there for a while to feel this healing, loving energy from Mother Earth to ground you and to stabilize you, to have your roots on the ground. And just feel this energy in your heart, healing, loving, full of light, and now feel this energy traveling up your chest, through your arms, into your throat, all the way up to your forehead where your third eye is, into your crown chakra just above your head, and just really cleansing, calming everything, are your chakras balancing them out. Now you imagine a red balloon in front of you and I want you to put all your stress, your negative thoughts, anything that's blocking you, um, anything that you don't need right now into this balloon. I want you to just blow it into this balloon. See it come out of you as like a black cloud filling this balloon up. And when you're ready, let this balloon flow out your window, out the door, and into the universe with love. You're releasing whatever you don't need in your life right now so that you can move forward. Releasing everything into the balloon, into the universe. Now bring back your awareness to your body and feel the floor beneath your feet again. Feel your toes wiggling. Feel your fingers wiggling. And when you're ready, open your eyes. All right, 
So that is your grounding meditation that you can really use anytime when you feel frazzled or when you need to just feel calm and grounded. Um, I will be showing you a couple more crystals that you can use for that. But for now, um, I want to talk to you about the new moon, which um, is actually today. And when me and Elizabeth decided on this live class training, we didn't know. So it's like perfect timing. So this, this new moon is actually um, all about, um, it's in the Libra energy. So it's all about partnerships and love, beauty, social gatherings, and balance. So it's a perfect time to do all your stuff for your wedding, I think, right? Um, it's all about working with your relationship. So balancing, balancing the me and we, like making sure that you know your time and the togetherness time, finding the middle ground for everybody right? So this month, um, you can really focus on giving more than taking and what you are doing for others. So what you're doing for your significant other, right? And this new moon will totally let you step into your partner's shoes to learn and understand their needs. So if there is something that you need to, um, you need to fix in your relationship right now, then this is the time to do so. Um, it helps you to co-create and um, be cooperative with each other. So another thing, actually one of my clients that I just worked with uh, for manifesting yesterday, she was having problems with her husband. So another thing that came to mind is this simple ritual that you can do. So what you do is just take basil, you can use dried or fresh. I tend to like to work with the dry herbs more and you can just put it at, beneath, underneath your bed in the four corners of your bed. So this really um, repels the, fight, the fighting energy and releases that and kind of just like protects your bedroom, the sacred space with you and your partner. And don't forget to also sage you know, the room if you had had a fight. So this is some of the things that you can do to start off, you know, your relationship on a good good note after you do have a conflict. All right, so this month for you would be a really good time to also negotiate or renegotiate anything that makes you unhappy because it's all about balance and you wanna be, you know, balanced and happy. Um, it's also, Libra is also the energy of beauty. So take time to really focus on your looks, on your image. And I mean, not to be like vain, but others will, you know, what others see first is what you, you know, is very important. So maybe you want to dress up a little bit for your fiance or your husband, right? And you just need, if you feel beautiful, then others will feel you're beautiful. So it really starts with you and with this Libra energy backing you up, this is something that you can totally achieve. So you can also surround yourself with beauty, like crystals or art or um, anything that you love music, right? And really consider also regaining back your identity so if you're really dependent on someone, maybe take a step back and look at your partnership. It's not so much about relying on them, but maybe working it out together. All right, so that's really it for the new moon. And just let me know if you have any questions. You could go ahead and tag me, Pamela Chen, in the comments, and I'll, I'll go ahead and answer it after you um, view this video. And so we're gonna move on to our crystals. So I've chose three crystals that I love for grounding and calming. Um, the first crystal, actually I have four crystals with me, but the top three is going to be this one. Okay, so the first number one crystal that I love is the Smoky Quartz. 
So this is a smoky quartz cluster. It's like a cluster. So this is actually really good for partnerships also and togetherness because, hi Kiki, because you see um, these three three points. So it's like it's like a community, right? It's good for partnerships. And the smoky quartz is great for repelling negative energy. It's a dark color, so it really helps you get grounded. And it, this one is also for achieving personal and business goals. And this is the manifesting stone. So I would really get the smoky quartz. It's one of my favorite crystals. <laughs> you can also get them in tower form, but this is a cluster. And I like how it has like this shiny black color. So what you can do with this is you can meditate with your quartz or you can just put it, um, I like to put it by the doors, like as a kind of like a guard dog kind of thing, you know, that can guard negative energy from coming into your home. So you can also put the smoky quartz by where you and your partner is at. So maybe if you hang around in your bedroom or the family room a lot, this is a good, good place for it. And really anywhere that you feel like it looks nice or feels comfortable. That's where your smoky quartz wants to go. And the second crystal that is great for grounding is your aragonite. So kind of, I call this the cocoa puff. It's like a circle, a circular shape with these star points. And this is the aragonite. So this crystal is great for grounding and really centering yourself and just letting everything go. So this crystal, I would keep um, on your person if you can. So if you have, if you know like a stressful day is coming up, maybe you can keep it in your bag or something or in your pocket and just like hold on to it and just get back to, you know, your calm state. Maybe take like a minute or two if you feel frazzled and just kind of feel the energy of the crystal and letting you calm down. Also, um, the essential oil that you can also use is lavender. And I feel like frankincense really grounds me and like settles me down. So those two with crystals work amazing. Again, this is the aragonite. Beautiful crystal, kind of weird, but <laughs> I love it. One of, it's actually one of our most popular, one of our popular ones. And the third crystal, and it's actually the crystal for this month for Libra, is the rose quartz. So this is a rose quartz tower. So the point actually it helps you shoot up um, energy into the universe like your wish or if you put it like this then it helps you um, receive energy, right? So the rose quartz is the love crystal all about Love, beauty, compassion, um, helps you have self-confidence. So this is a great crystal to put around your room. So you can put it next to your bedstand. You can put some, of, of course, a smaller one. This one's kind of huge. You can put a smaller one underneath your pillow or underneath both sides of the beds so that you can promote a loving, passionate energy in the bedroom. And this this will really help you connect to your heart chakra, which will help you get centered and give you that confidence that you need to, you know, the next step to your wedding or whatever, right? So this is a perfect crystal to have. And also to, you know, bring more beauty into your life. And that is the three main crystals. And I also picked up this one this morning. So I want to show you the Celestite. So this is a Celestite and it's the angel stone. So it really helps this calming blue, if you see any like blue, light, green colors, it's for calming and healing and just make you, making everybody feel peaceful in the room. So this is a great one to have in the living room or maybe like during a reception or a wedding or something you want to have like a celeste on every table. That would be really cool, you know, just so everyone, you know, feels the peace and love. And this also helps um, detox your body and help to bring like a pure energy into the room. So this is the celestite angel crystal, kind of like my bird Georgie. You want to say hi? Hi, George. Can you see him? 
Richard, say hi. <laughs> He's kind of baby boo like him. Okay, so, and that's, that's it for the crystals. And again, you can ask me, tag me, any questions you have about crystals or the new moon and manifesting. Tonight's a great night for you. Maybe pick up that smoky quartz for you to really manifest what you want done for this month. So if your wedding is soon, maybe manifest the things that you want to get accomplished before your wedding and you know, and just have bring good vibes to your planning. I know it's it could be like really stressful, but I think that if you have Elizabeth's help, she can totally help you, you know, get everything set so that you're not like running around like a chicken without a head, right? And so if you, um, if you do need crystals though, you're welcome to come see me on Instagram at Luna Prosperity, Luna like the moon and prosperity for money. And I can, you can DM me or you can private message me on Facebook and I can totally help you pick out a crystal for you. Um, we can find your spirit crystal, which is the crystal that you need right now, what the energy you need in your life right now. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to comment and tag me and I am going to go off right now and let Elizabeth talk to you. Thank you guys so much for having me in here and I will see you soon. Bye.